Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and it's time to do some more Faster Than Light, where last time we won with the Stealth B, which is pretty exciting because it was, in fact, my first run with the Stealth B. And now that I think about it, actually, if I am not mistaken, we are on a bit of a winning streak here, at least four games. I did take a little bit of a break from before, but we have wins with both Stealth Cruisers, wins with both Crystal Cruisers. And I'm pretty sure I had a win before that with one of these other ships. Maybe it was the Shivan. I know I had one with the Slug B. I know I had a win with the, uh... Well, no, I didn't win with the Zoltan Cruiser on the Shieldless Run. But that's me tuning my own horn. Today we are going to be going for some revenge, I guess. Or at least something that's been pissing me off for far too long. I have never done that well with the Federation Cruiser, and I could go with the Nysos, or I could go with the Osprey, but this penis-looking ship is gonna get me a win today, or I'm gonna be frustrated again. So we're just gonna start with this ship, we're just gonna call this Gambit. I could make some phallic joke here, but... I've never made it either easy or normal out of Sector 5 with this ship, and today I'm going for the win, because damn it, I'm tired of just screwing around with this. So the Federation Cruiser, I've not played it in a while, it comes with the Artillery Beam, which is a very effective late weapon, and it comes with a good assortment of starting crew. But for now, we're just going to see either this is going to be a good run, or it's going to suck and we're going to have to do this again. Because I do have a goal of... Oh, why can I use the artillery beam for that? I guess it's too much. Try and dislodge it, and we get some help. Or no, we get some scrap for our trouble. But my goal is to win with the four ships that I have yet to win with, which is both Federation Cruisers, the NGB, and, strangely, the Kestrel B. But this is not a good way to start your day with a uh, sun that's going to solar flare with a bunch of weapons coming. And I have a burst laser that's... Probably going to get taken out here in just a moment, no. Because these weapons don't charge while it's, while it's stealth, so maybe I should actually take out their stealth system first, but at least... Okay, so see, I knew my burst laser was going, and now I get to see what part of my ship's about to be on fire. All of it! Holy shit balls! Yeah, pardon my language, I get to say shit balls when it's on YouTube. So my artillery beam's out. That was maybe the most devastating ship fire I've ever seen a sun do. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And doors prevent the spread of fire, but I think somehow I pissed off Helios, or whoever the sun person is in this game. So I didn't lose my comm, which is good. I probably could just put my rot guy in here and repair this. Yeah. I didn't lose oxygen. Unfortunately, I'm also being a moron and not powering my weapons, because that ship has no air, so all its fires are going to die. Alright, so I'm probably going to get hit with another unnecessary solar flare here. I took a crap ton of damage for that. Boom, and right in the cockpit again. So see, this is the kind of stuff that happens with the uh, Federation cruiser for me. But as long as we don't lose our... Command Center. Oh, I've been playing too much StarCraft 2 lately, and I and I suck with Terran, so I don't even know why I'm saying Command Center. Okay, right to an asteroid field, so we are all about these uh, obstacles and hazards, especially with two lasers, and I bet they're both heavy lasers. At least they're probably just one-shot lasers. But I'm probably going to get hit somewhere. Oh, I'm on fire again. Awesome. But at least there's nothing they can do now. I could let them asphyxiate, but as long as I don't burn up, I'll be okay. So yeah, it won't be long now. I probably could just auto-fire the burst laser for most of this. Now, I have tried in the past upping my artillery beam really quickly. I've tried a lot of things. Okay, thank you, Asteroid, for doing the job for me. I've tried just going for some other things. I don't really know. First off, I, what I probably shouldn't try. Okay, you... We're just going to go ahead and heal up real quick. I'm probably just going to go for a standard, get level 2 shields and figure it out from there. If I can get something good from a store, great. If I can't, I can't. And I apologize for my mouse squeaking. It's been going. I have managed to get a replacement. 
shipping my way. So let's see here, 54 scrap. What do I have to sell? I guess I can't see what I have to sell on the ship. I don't think the Federation cruiser has a lot to sell. But we're going to stop by the store because I think 50 scrap is a good place to start. And be sad because some of the stuff would be fantastic to have. If I could have just gotten some scrap from one more jump, the hull beam would have been great. Fire beam would have been hilarious, but it's a little too early. But at least we shouldn't be caught up by the uh, Rebel fleet. Unfortunately, if I whether or not I get enough stuff from this next fight is not going to matter. So I can power my engines instead of the med bay. Not that, that does a lot of good. Yeah. Please don't pike beam me like that. Thank you. Makes my life a lot easier when you don't pike beam me. So that artillery beam's not going to come into play too much early on this game. And that's okay. Because I'm not really going to need it to support me until later on. Because it does cut through shields. I don't think it cuts through Zoltan shields, but it does cut through shields. It goes to show how long it's been since I've tried or played the ship. It may have actually been at least 20 runs, if not more. So just gotta... Whoever is in there is a repairing fiend, man. The artillery beam actually got a shot off. So yeah, we have enough scrap to make use of the store that we can no longer reach. So my bad, guys. I'll survive. Hmm, let's see here. Explore the asteroid field we take hull damage, so there's something where we're not getting a crystal crew member to possibly unlock. Unless it comes up later. Let's see here. Single life form, and... You find a crew member, and he says thanks. So we get another human. Yay. So we got extra crew, which is always nice to have. That exit is really far towards the center of the map, which is unfortunate. But we are just going to try and fight, and because I haven't upgraded my doors, we are going to have a brawl in the weapons room. Which is not going to last very long. So, fortunately, the heavy laser and the... Well, I was about to say they should be mistimed, but that doesn't seem to be what's happened at all. So, let's get you back in there. I think I did a lot of damage to my mantis. I don't know why that happened. But at least they can't hurt me right now. So, what I've heard from other people is that they like to play this ship defensively. A lot of people swear by this ship. I swear at this ship, but I'm, I'm sure there's some redeeming value. I don't know if I've become a much better player than the last time I tried. We can pretend that I have. And yeah, you are about to get artillery beamed. Yay. So it's kind of like the capstone there. So 95 scrap. Yeah, we're going to go that distress beacon and then hit the exit. Maybe we'll get a store out of one of these. So 22 scrap is great. I don't know, sometimes you can get a random event. I don't think you can on the exit. That'll give you a store. I'm going to need my fuel. So let's go to the next sector. Mantis or Rebel? That is a ton of red. I like it. I know some people are like, oh, red sectors. But no, it's good for me. I will take it. And I'm going to go for the one that has the uh, live ships in here. So we're going to... Upgrade our doors, as I tend to like to do early on, and we're going to play this defensively, especially since we could be getting boarded by Mantis. Uh, when do I want to upgrade the artillery beam? I probably want to upgrade it relatively soon, but I'll need some reactor power for it. I guess the number one thing is just trying to get some upgrades at a store, but I'm going to be fighting a lot of ships here, so... Uh, jettison the pod, you're not stupid, because I've had too many times where my crew member's been killed, and I really don't want to lose my Mantis or Rock Guy. Humans are expendable, as usual. And you are going to probably missile me to death. Let's see how long we can go before we have to fight you. Since you're trying to go in my shield room. That's a burst laser 3, which is not pleasant. But I did manage to knock it out before I could get a shot off, so that's good. 
unfortunately. Is that an art of no, it's just a lead out missile launcher. So now that those are taken out. For some reason I have extra power floating around. That must be why. Why are you in the oxygen? Come on, man. Come on, man. Why are you shooting missiles at me? Man, that is just frustrating. Because since I can't board to kill the crew where maybe I could have... I'm actually going to leave that punch in my whole hull right there. That's actually a pretty useful place to have it if I get bored there. Because that's a, that's a room that's only good for venting, really, anyway. So we're just going to keep trying to wiggle our way around. And I guess the question is, that's probably the safest path. Because that looks like an exit area that may not be connected, and this is the point of the episode where I say... Oh, sh okay, well, this is the point of the episode where I say, oh, shit, I just got boarded by a ton of mantis. So we are going to hole up in the, uh... Well, let's not take the air out of the med bay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. For all I know, they're trying to go to door control. And I'm just going to let them. Let's go ahead and vent the uh, engine room as well. So can they take out my doors in time? No. Alright. Looks like we're getting some combat experience, guys. Just gonna get all the air back in here. At least there's only three borders. I'm actually not doing too well on health. I got roasted by missiles that last time. So that's a little unfortunate, but I'm gonna be able to knock these guys out and get some combat experience, but not much else. Good job, Beth, and whatever your name is, Aki. Aki. Can sound also say Aki. Don't want me to do that again. So here we go, another freaking drone ship. That is not actually too scary unless they start ironing my shields with a heavy ion, which would not be great. But if it's a slow charging ion weapon, I might be okay. As long as I can just not get beamed while my shields get knocked down. Like that. It's exactly what I didn't want. So let's get our two derpy guys in there to repair. And this will probably kill them by the time anything useful happens anyway. So 24 more scrap. And so far systems are okay. Still running into an unusually high amount of hazards. We are just going to go ahead and see if we can happen to run into a store. That'd be awesome if we could. I'm going to buy six fuel for 12 scrap. That's a deal you always want to take. Except that it's probably going to keep me from getting to the store. So we're going to jump back and try and hit those three. Just farm as much scrap as we can and hope that we get something useful. So that's not good. Another jump. I'd love some long-range scanners. You're supposed to run into a bunch of ships here. Aside with the fugitive and fight the NG ship. So, great. We have two Mantis. All we need now is a boarding crew. And they have a burst laser, too, so they are a little terrifying. And I guess what I could do is up my artillery beam. Some people like to put the level 3 early. With the way these fights are going, I may just need to make a turtle ship here. Okay, so unfortunately my weapon... Oh, great. So my weapon systems are out. This is where if I would just gotten a little more scrap, that crew transporter in the start would have been ideal. Because now I can't fire. And I'm just going to be... Okay, good. So if we can just keep dodging. Keep dodging. There we go. That's what needed to be knocked out. So I don't remember if that's a tiny laser or a dual laser, but at least we shouldn't be taking any more damage from this fight. Except when I'm not auto-firing. How do you auto-fire in this game again? It's one of these buttons. Press or hold, alter control. Auto-fire. Do, do, do left control and aim can force a weapon to do the opposite of whatever it's doing right now. Okay, so 53 scrap. 
That didn't do too well for us last time, but we're going to see if it does this time. We're going to see if I haven't dead-ended myself as well. So, crew, transporter, automated reload, a reverse ion field. All things I want, all things I can't really get. We're going to get the automated reloader, just because anything that will let me fire my burst laser more is a good thing. So I guess we can hit this exit and explore around here a little bit. Oh, reverse ion field. So if I didn't want one, I got one now anyway. So we looks like we are going for a very defensive boat. Surrender your goods. They're trying to run. They're not going to be able to... Oh, well. No, you're definitely not going to be able to. Yeah, the two Mantis and a crew transporter would be awesome. That's probably my next goal here. But for now, I just really don't want to take damage like this. Because that is a crappy missile launcher. And it's probably going to hit me again. Yep. So right in the shield balls. So I don't know. It's like if I can just survive the early game with this ship, and that's no guarantee right now, I can make it. I can make some headway. And I guess the artillery beam is going to do what it does here. Doo -doo -doo. So, anti personnel drone, that's more stuff to sell. So, if I go there, will I be able to get to the exit in two jumps? I think so. The timing's going to be a little weird, but. Yeah, we get a little more scrap for our trouble. We may run into the Rebel fleet if we do. Oops, my bad. I'm terrible at judging these distances, so... That's a few more jumps. And all we're going to do is jump to the, let's see, a rock or pirate sector. I kind of prefer the rock-controlled sector, even though I bitch all the time about, Oh my god, missiles! But sector 3... So I really, really, really need to have 75 scrap for a transporter. I'm okay with everything else that I have, even just the single burst laser. With the automated reloader, that firing faster is going to be good in case I get it again. So let's hear NG crew to calm down the infected rock crew member. Let's. So these are both the good options. And I may actually be pretty close to getting that achievement for uh, getting a bunch of random events. Though I got a few people that really... Okay, so we actually do get the, uh, take the weapon or grab the stasis chamber. Do I want to... I could use a good weapon. I've been to the Crystal Homeworlds a crap ton of times, and this map does not have a proper layout with no green sectors like this, so I'm not going to be able to get it opened until at least, I think, Sector 6. So, Reach Missiles. Not very good for what I want to do. They're huge damage, so it's, that's probably something I'm going to sell. But hey, at least I made it to the stasis pod, so let's see here. We have some injured that need to be fixed. And I believe it is you two, so let's go ahead and take care of that and nip that in the bud. Yeah, I'm trying to pause a little less here because I, looking at some of my earlier videos, like pause all the time, pause all the time. Why is this run taking four hours? So, I'm on a quest now for a store, and of course I had an asteroid field instead, and we get intruders boarding us in the fucking weapon room again. I guess if there's one thing that's reliable about this game, it's going to find new ways to make you happy. So, let's see here. I don't know if it counts as having crew in there when I'm actually fighting the boarders, so... I'm actually going to cut my O2 for now. Just to move this guy over. Fortunately, they shot a heavy laser right in their own face. So these guys are going to die. I hope my Mantis here doesn't die. Should be alright. As long as I can prevent from getting bombed. That would be nice. Yeah, so that's... That was a well-done fight. And now, 
Okay, they have two shields here, but with the asteroids, it's not going to do them a lot of good. And I should be okay. Their surrender offer is a lot of fuel, and I could use fuel. I'm actually going to accept it, because knowing my luck, if I don't get the fuel now, I'm going to be in trouble later. So go ahead and finish healing, Bovi. So 100 scrap, no store in sight. I think that's kind of our next goal, is to get a store. I'll take this and hopefully not get missiled in the face this time. If there's no store here, I'm just going to go ahead and up my artillery beam one. Because the burst laser can last you a very long time. I was hoping for a cheaper powered weapon. Here, Oh, that was a very fortunate miss. If I did get cloaking, that could actually be amazing. Because I am just taking so many missile hits right now. See, like that, where it's two bits of fire. It's like a two-for-one combo. Now, unfortunately, it seems like I'm having some pretty rotten luck with actually hitting this ship. And doing damage, so... If things get too out of line, I may just have to roll out and go. And this is where I was hoping for some better weapons. Okay, so I took out the missile launcher. That's all I really wanted, because I can buy time for the artillery beam. It's the slowest fight ever. One of my least favorite achievements to get in the game is just sitting and waiting for that weapon to do its thing. So what we're actually going to do is have some repair repair mantis team. And if I had a if I could board these guys, that would make my life so much simpler. I need to get level two scanners, and I really, at this rate, I'm going to need to get some serious repairs. Okay, so that is so slow. So slow on the repairs, guys. Guess I want to just keep it on the weapon system. It's probably going to get artillery beamed before I can do anything anyway. I am not going to accept your surrender that time. There we go. Explosions and 28 scrap. That was a good choice to not accept that. No store, so let's go ahead and... There's a few places we can upgrade, but I want to keep my scrap spending low. And probably the best jump to try and find a bunch of nodes is up here. So. Ugh, more missiles. I knew I, this is what it was going to come to. But hopefully, because they have one shield, I can actually deactivate that before it gets a shot off. No, that may not be the case. And if it hits me in the wrong place, if it is a breach missile or a hull missile, I could be in a world of pain. Come on, there we go. That's what needed to happen. So we're playing some serious turtle power here, and unfortunately their ship's on fire. And... can we do it again? There we go. So slightly faster on the artillery beam. And 30 scrap. Store. There we go. We're going to hit this place. Well, let's not get greedy, because we got plenty of nodes before we get to the exit. I've got a lot to sell. And I can get a second automated reloader, which would, be, um, which would also be good. Shield charge booster is not bad. Let's buy the teleporter first. That'll dictate kind of what else we do. Reverse ion field is interesting, but kind of unreliable. Anti-personnel drone. No, thank you. Breach missiles are fun, but 35 scrap is probably more useful there for me. So, what do I do? Let's go ahead and get a second automated reloader, because that means weapons firing 30% faster. It's, uh, good. We're going to get our hull up a little bit, and let's see, what else can I do for my ship right now? So there's nothing much else there. I do have a good boarding team. I'm going to need scanners. Yeah, that artillery beam is playing with fire with the boarding crew. But it's kind of the feature of this ship, so it's useful, you could say. So let's see if I didn't just dead end myself up here. Yay, two people and a uh, gigantic scary laser. So let's actually turn off the uh, 
artillery beam here, and since you guys are so slow and my guys are so fast, the very first thing we're going to do is to go after your weapons room. Guess they're not that slow. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Because that is a very scary burst weapon. So we're just going to kite around the ship. There we go. Can I take down a shield in time? Oh! This is where I'd love to have cloaking, but... They're going to get one shot off, probably. Oh, good! Managed to stop it. So I'm probably going to return these guys in just a moment before my artillery beam goes off, if necessary. Let's go ahead and throttle it back just a little bit. I don't think I lose charge on it. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. So no artillery beam. And we get a heavy laser. Not my favorite weapon, but at this point, any weapon will do. Let's see. I, I do want to go and get the weapon power. My next 50 scraps going to be for reactor power. See, so yeah, what the heavy laser does is just anything extra I can do to fire on a ship. And I'd love to time it with the burst laser. Just to have things go all at once. And that can be a pretty good heavy hitter. Alright, so we dead-ended ourselves after all. We're back at the store. Screw it all by fuel. Let's just max out our ship here. Kinda got what I need for now. Of course, asteroid fields are never a good place to be when you only have... When you only have one shield. You really want to take out their crew. Let's go ahead and do this then, because I'm not going to attack their shield room, I'm going to just try and time my lasers for when their stuff dies. But whenever they get hit by an asteroid. Okay, so there is one stagger lasers crystal styled, please don't hit me missile, oh, right in the engines, oh, that was an awful shot. Okay, so now they are going into the fire here. And I guess I do want to actually not auto-fire on these guys, but just fire on them a little bit anyway. Not too much. Let's go ahead and get you all healed up. Because I don't need to take out everything all at once, but... At least they can't hurt me. So let's kill them with actual laser fire. Yep. Don't always need a boarding crew. Pro tip. I can't, I can't do like the Husky Starcraft pro tip of the day. My voice isn't that interesting. So wow, that fire is still burning out of control. There we go. Man, you got hit hard, buddy. How much repair experience did you get for that? Probably quite a bit. Just for constantly bouncing on fires, you do get repair experience for that. So now my ship is recharging very slowly, so I had nowhere to run that fight anyway. And as soon as my mantis are done trying to fix this, we'll just go ahead and swing on to the next place. Probably got two jumps before the exit, so we'll do the one that I'm pretty sure is actually connected to the exit. Of course, right in the star, groan. This is where I'd love to have, like, weapon lockdown or something. I don't, once again, I don't know if it's a very it's a very good idea to actually board with these guys, but I do need the combat experience, so... Kind of the same strategy as before. Just get on there, 
try and knock them down as much as we can, try and knock down their weapons as much as we can. There we go. Right on fire. And interesting how when their system's on fire, they both run from the... So that's good use of lasers. Unfortunately, I'm possibly about to auto-shot myself to death. So let's just go ahead and heal this up. Because I have a feeling they're about to die, or I'm about to die if I don't take care of my crew, so... Let's go ahead and get the NG out of there. Probably gonna lose some scanners here. So one guy's burning, one guy's almost dead, but not quite. Can I kill him here? Please. Oh, there we go. Knocking people out with laser fire. That's like future tech right there. And unfortunately, do not think I'm going to... Oh, I actually managed to dodge the solar flare. Second store. Now that is interesting, because I do have some scrap. I don't have a lot I can sell. Uh, if they have something good, the question becomes, can I take on any sort of rebel ship that's here? And I'm going to play this a little more conservatively than I'd like, especially since my shield room's on fire. And let's go ahead and sell 12 drone parts. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I'd actually make it out of that in time. So see, I got some bonus scrap. Probably worth it to not end up that direction. So let's see, we need at least two more... Well, let's do at least one more system power for now. And let's see what's in the next sector. Hey, Mantis or Mantis. I think I'm going to go with the Mantis up here. Because I don't mind. <laughs> 